I found a way to create collapsible fields in Tana and it's about to make your Tana experience so much better. So if you've ever worked with fields in Tana, you know they're a fantastic way to organize structured data. But once you start adding substantial content to those fields, they can become a nightmare really fast. You end up scrolling through massive chunks of text with no way to collapse them when you need a bit of a clean up view. And while I would love for Tana to ship collapsible fields, I found a simple workaround, my own version of collapsible fields that lets you keep your fields, but roll them up when you need them. So in today's video, I'm going to show you why fields are a great way to keep your super tags organized, two, when to use fields versus when to use plain notes, and three, how to add collapsible fields to any node. But before we jump in, if you don't have time to watch endless YouTube tutorials and you just want to build a high performing digital workspace that works harder than you do, then check out my Tana Fast Track course. It will get you up and running in Tana, well, really fast. First, you'll learn all the fundamentals in less than one hour. Next, you'll choose from our six core workflow templates. They're simple plug and play. There's no 86 super tags to deal with. You choose what templates you need to customize your workflow. And then you also have access to our TFT community to ask questions, get direct help from me, plus a load of other resources. Over 500 people have already taken Tana Fast Track and loved it. So if you wanna get on the Fast Track, I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, so let's quickly talk about why you would use fields in a super tag. So I've always been a fan of using fields in my super tags, and I just find it helps me kind of separate out my process, especially in super tags that I use for things like content or outputs. So I can have a field for my brain dump and then a field for the final piece, a field for hooks, a field for checklists, all of that kind of thing. And I find that it just helps me to organize my thoughts and organize the output of something. Now, you could always just do that by using nodes and nesting things underneath, which are actually collapsible. So why do I use fields specifically? Well, there's really two main reasons. The first one is actually about working with AI. So when you have specific fields for different things, you can target those specific fields in your AI commands rather than sending off the whole context of the node which eats up all your AI credits really fast. And also it means that AI doesn't have context that it doesn't need. So sometimes in prompts, when you give it everything, it might get confused, it doesn't need something. And so I find that by having fields that have specific things in them, I can get AI to create much better experience for me when using the AI commands. So the second thing is that fields are actually exposable in tables, whereas nodes are not. So I have quite a lot of views where I wanna see different fields together in a table. So for instance, uh, my video pipeline, shorts and long form content, I often view this in a table where I can see all the videos I'm currently working on and I can see brain dumps, I can see the scripts, I can see checklists, and it really gives me a really good overview of where I'm at with all of my content on one big screen. And so using tables allows me to do that. If I just use nodes, I wouldn't be able to see all of those things in a view like that. All right, so let me show you what these collapsible fields look like. Now, ideally, what I would love is for Tana just to give me a little toggle so I could toggle them on and off. But right now, you can't do that. So what I've set up instead is a really simple way to actually make these collapsible. So this is my YouTube super tag, and it can get pretty hefty once I start brain dumping, uh, scripting, putting all the packaging stuff in. And so if I was to open all of these up, which are my collapsible fields, you can quickly see that there's a lot of things to scroll through and I don't always need to see it all. So I set up a really simple system where I just have a node inside the field and then I have two command buttons that either expand or collapse the field, okay? And it makes it so easy. And one of the things I really love about this is it actually expands everything pretty much at the first level of node. If you want it to expand more, so for instance, I've got this demo mode, which is still closed, you just click the button again and it keeps expanding. And so however many levels that you have, it will just keep expanding those levels. So it's a really great way to either expand or collapse your fields. And I love this. So let me show you how to set this up because it's really, really easy. So the first thing you wanna do is on any of your super tags, I'm gonna show you my YouTube video super tag. So we're gonna open this, uh, the configuration. So to open that, just press Option, Shift and click, or you can just come here and go Configure. Then you wanna choose the field that you want to have collapsible, okay? So for instance, let's say I want a collapsible field here in the thumbnail. 
So all I do is I just type the name of the field as my node, okay? And there's not really any way to do this nicely. It's just, you've got brain dump and brain dump, script and script, packaging, packaging, thumbnail, thumbnail, right? But the thing that makes this really good is these buttons, okay? So if I open this up, so the way to do this is you wanna come to your node and just go configure node, okay? But I'm gonna show you how to do this here. So I basically got a command menu that has two commands on it. One is expand right? And it's just a command line command. So it's the same as going here and expand, right? It's exactly the same as doing that. So you can see that. And then I've got another one that is exactly the same, run a command line command, but it's collapse all, all right? So to set this up, we're going to close this one up and we're going to start up here. So uh, configure, come down to your commands and usually I put it in the compact menu okay that means it will show up in both if you don't have anything in the full menu it's very unlikely that you will have anything on a node in a full menu so first thing to do is we're going to say um, we're just going to call this expand and collapse and you you just want to give it a name first but then we're going to take the name away right so convert once you've got that just go command k and go to group this creates a drop down menu, which then we can create our commands within. So we're gonna create our first one, which is expand and convert that to a command. Then you're going to type at line and you're gonna choose this one, run a command line command. Once you've done that, all you have to do, and the easy way to do this is to go command K and find what it is. Okay, so we're looking for expand and you're just gonna type that in, all right? That's all you need to do there. I told you this is super easy. Then we're going to duplicate this. So go command K duplicate. And this one is going to be collapse. And then in this one, it's going to be collapse all. Okay, you just know that that's the command if you go command K collapse and you see all. Okay, so um, we use all because we just want to collapse everything up. Okay, then close those up and close that. So then what you have here is you have thumbnail and you can see this expand and collapse. Now, you can see on mine, I don't have a drop down, and that is because of this very cool way to set up your groups. If you just remove the name of the group and close this back up, you'll now see these uh, two commands exposed, right? So there's no drop down. What I found is when I used a drop down, if I was trying to expand certain levels, it was annoying to have to drop click the drop down, click the expand. So I like it set up this way. And then if you don't want these names, which I don't, uh, we're gonna go back to configure and we're going to, to expand here and go command K configure. All right, so we're configuring the command this time. And for the icon, you can just put an arrow in. Okay, so if you want the up arrow, uh, I like this one, okay. Um, and then you can, oh, command should probably be down. <laughs> let's, let's change that. Down arrow. Okay, this one, yeah, there we go. All right, and then in this one, configure that and go to icon and then up. Arrow. All right, and then just remove these words. And we've got some perfect up and down arrows. All right, so really, really easy to get that set up. Now, if you've already created super tags, then you will not see this new node show up on those fields. What you have to do is uh, put your cursor inside the actual field name and go Command K and then update default values. And that will update all those fields with your new collapsible field, okay? Um, so that's just a really quick way to do that. Now. The other thing is that uh, I do not want to be doing all of that fiddling around every time I want to add a collapsible field. So what you can do instead is you can create a command that creates the collapsible field, right? So let's come down here. Any, you can create this anywhere in your tunnel workspace. So just any node type create collapsible field, okay? Then go command K and convert this to a command. Right now in here, what we're going to do is we're going to create the clone, insert cloned copies of nodes. And then inside here, basically you're going to take whatever you created, your thumbnail, let's say this, 
We're going to paste that in here and then we're going to go command K clone. OK, we don't want to be a reference of that, but we do want the commands on the node. We're going to just rename this to collapsible field. All right. So what that does is that's all you have to do. But what it does is that let's say we remove thumbnail from here and we want to create a collapsible field. All you have to do then is when you're in your field, type command K collapsible. And then I've got two of these now because I've created both two. But if you come here, you can see collapsible field. You've got your commands, your command buttons. And then all you have to do is rename this. And that is a really, really quick way to add in this collapsible field now. And the great thing about this is that you don't have to just add it in to your content template. You could be on any node now and you could say, let's say I am here and I don't have the thumbnail. I can easily just go create collapsible field thumbnail and I'm here on, on any node or, or on any super tag and I can get that there. And so you can see how really quickly you can create some very cool expandable and collapsible fields just with a simple command. Now, a couple of reasons that I really like this setup is that because these are now nodes within a field, I can actually zoom in or have them in different panels. And so sometimes when I, let's say, open this script and I'm working on this, it still feels like I've got a little bit not enough room to work, like because I'm working within the field. Plus, if I have my related content open, then it makes the field even smaller and it's just a lot of scrolling and, and it feels like I'm writing in a field compared to I'm writing a script in a document. So what I love is I can just click on it and I can actually get full screen zoom in and really get focused on writing this script. And then often how I work is usually as I'm scripting something, I might have two different panels, right? So I'll have the brain dump, which I'll have in this panel, and then I'll zoom in on my script, which is here. And this is such a great way to work. And it's only possible because of this collapsible field setup. If I didn't have this collapsible field setup, there would be no way to actually make this view happen because things live inside fields. So it really is handy for all types of work in Tana. So there you have it. Collapsible fields are your secret weapon for keeping your super tags clean and focused by hiding the details you don't need right now. And if you are someone that wants to unlock the full power of super tags, I actually created a video that shows you how to set up and organize your super tag pages to capture and find all your information exactly when you need it. You can check it out here. And don't forget, if you want to build a high performing Tana workspace, then you should check out my Tana Fast Track course in the link below. And of course, for more great Tana content in your feed, like and subscribe to the channel.